Um, well, the five different Shadowhunter series that make up the Chronicles are all set in different cities, in different time periods. And usually for me, it starts with a kernel of an idea or a fascination with a particular time period or place. Um, and then I tend to do a lot of research before I start for the Infernal Devices and for the last hours I've been, I spent, you know, a couple of months just reading books set in that time period, about that time period, written during that time period, a lot of reading of journals of people who were alive then, a lot of study of architecture of the time period and how households worked. I mean, stuff that I think most people would find extremely boring, but I find it extremely interesting. Lots of poring over old maps and looking at locations. Um, and even in the modern day uh, Shadowhunters books, I do a lot of the characters traveling. In the last book, they went to Paris, they went to Prague. You know, they went to Iceland, and so um, if possible, I go myself to the cities and I walk around, take notes, take pictures, and then I work off those notes and photographs when I'm actually writing the book. So um, it's a lot of fun. It feels like, you know, immersing yourself in another world. It's really enjoyable. I often get asked to give writing advice, and I feel like I'm terrible at it because every writer is different, but first I would say read. You know, read everything, read books that are out of your usual comfort zone, and try to absorb the language and the rhythms of the language and see what those writers are doing because we learn to write by reading in the same way that we learn to talk by listening. Um, I would also say try to set yourself a certain amount of words to write a day to get into the habit of writing every day. So even if it's just 100 words, which is not very much, if you write 100 words a day, by the end of the year you'll have a big chunk of work done and you can look back over it and feel accomplished, which is always good. And uh, thirdly, I would say um, don't be afraid to write anything. I always get letters from people saying, you know, I want to write fantasy, but I'm afraid that I'm not creative enough, or I want to write science fiction, but I'm afraid I don't know enough about science. Nobody writes science fiction knows anything about science. But uh, I would just say, you know, don't be afraid because your imagination is limitless and, you know, absolutely write the thing that you want to write.